The call of the peregrine has been present in Winchester for a few years now, but recently, a new face has hit the scene. A new female peregrine, now known as Mel, was spotted at the cathedral grounds and quickly caught the attention of the people of Winchester. But why are locals so interested in this bird of prey? Well, I spoke to Keith Betton of the Hampshire Ornithological Society to answer exactly that. Well, peregrines have had a tough time over the years. They, they suffered very badly from egg collectors in Victorian days. In the 1960s, the population was down to around 350 pairs. There were none in England in the south, and the birds had actually gone from all the nesting sites that we knew them. And I just think that because of that, the fact that they've returned and now they live alongside us, people actually find peregrines really very, very interesting and very appealing. Mel came to the cathedral in February and was named after Melusina Trench, an Irish poet, writer and social campaigner who fought against social issues such as child labour and prison reform in the 18th century. And her introduction to Winchester has been nothing short of dramatic. Winnie and Chester were the original pair that I first noticed in 2011. This year, Winnie and Chester were back at their nest ledge and then one day, this new female peregrine appeared out of nowhere. And she basically had an altercation with Winnie. We don't know if she actually physically killed Winnie or whether Winnie just simply died in what happened. I mean, for all I know, they could have grappled with each other in the sky and crashed to the ground. I just don't know. But all I do know is that Winnie died and Mel, the new bird, appeared. Mel took the place of the previous female peregrine Winnie in the nest at the cathedral, which left all the locals in anticipation as they waited to see whether she would mate with the cathedral's male peregrine, William. And after a month-long wait, Mel laid her first three eggs in the nest this month and had been incubating them ready for hatching in May. But a strange turn of events has occurred since. The drama has been just non-stop at this nest. So this morning, we discovered that um, two of the eggs have actually got pushed off the tray during the night. And this presumably is when she was manoeuvring herself around in the dark. So we've just made the decision to put the eggs back on the tray because they've not been off for more than about five hours. So there is a tiny, tiny chance they might still hatch if we can get her back to incubate them. I don't even know how she's going to react to us putting the eggs back on the tray. She may well reject them, but at least we're giving her a second chance. Mel has had a dramatic start to life in Winchester so far, so be sure to keep an eagle eye on how Mel and her eggs progress in the coming weeks. Morgan Michener-Banks, Winchester News Online.